What is your calculus? Has it changed over these four years on how you want to expand in China? Obviously, you're fully licensed up now. You were very productive during the pandemic. You got full JVs and full ventures in securities uh, and in mutual funds and futures. You're, you're, you're pretty much well established on the mainland, which was your goal. But the, the things have changed. China's not necessarily the be all end all anymore. We've had simultaneous crackdowns domestically on the platform economy, on property, on online gaming, on online education, not to mention COVID zero. You have a crackdown on consultancies. There's lots of pressure. I mean, are you recalculating your growth projection and the capability of that growth in China? You, you went through a long list there, which I would, may not would agree <laughs> with all of it. But I think when, you, when we do business in a country, and we do business in 100 countries around the world, we are there for the citizens of the country. And we're there, hopefully, through good times and bad times. We tend not to leave other than there's war or civil war. And so we're not predicting any of that here. You know, obviously, it's become a far more complex situation. You know, for, some for good reason, some not for good reason. And, you know, there's risk. There's always going to be risk. And I think you'll see companies react to different things for different reasons. Some is their own resiliency. Some is uh, obviously national security, you know, will trump all other things. So, when go, you know, our government tells us to do A, B, and C. We're going to do A, B, and C and, and support it. And I think there's, there's a risk in China itself that, you know, if you, the, the, I've met with several people here. If you have more uncertainty, some of it caused by the Chinese government, well, of course, it's going to not just change foreign direct investment, which I, has gone up I, a little surprisingly, and I don't think they should assume that's continue, but it's going to change the people here, their own confidence, their own ability to, to invest and do things. And so, uh, uh, like I said, if people have deep conversations, respect each other, engage properly, I think the American government said all the right things recently, which is, because you heard it from Treasury Secretary Yellen, you heard it from President Biden, you heard it from National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan, you heard it from Secretary of State Tony Blinken, that this is not decoupling, this is de-risking, the world's changed a little bit. Obviously, they are concerned about the war in Ukraine. They should be. I think that's probably one of the most serious things affecting the future of the globe. And I mean the future of the globe for the next 50 years. And I think they're doing the right things. I'm completely supportive of that. And so, uh, you know, China's obviously going to do what they think is good for itself. And business might be a positive attribute. But, but national security will trump all our issues.